Alright, what is up guys? Okay, so this is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's a... Uh, it's like a puzzle... Puzzle mystery type of game, I guess. Um, but I thought I'd just make an announcement here. I'm going to be getting some new uh, recording equipment. So, that should be a lot better. The uh, camera I'm using right now is uh, pretty shitty. I'm going to be ordering a new camera, so it should be 1080p. Uh, like less laggy, more detail, and then uh, I'm going to be ordering a stand for it too, so uh, it should be like a different angle, a better angle, and uh, some different mic equipment, so this should sound a little bit better, but uh, I'm just going to jump right into this now, so uh, I'm going to start a new game. Product placement. Ethan Carter, I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail, but soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. All right, well, people were telling me I need to talk more like with those Stanley Parable ones, but uh, I just don't want to talk over like the narrator or like uh, the game at times. So if I'm not talking, like when there's uh, something going on in the game, that's why. Or if I'm just being quiet during like a puzzle or something. I don't know if this game really has puzzles per se, but uh, that was interesting. I tried the sense thing before. I'm not really sure what exactly I'm supposed to do with it, to be honest. But uh, I'll try to figure it out. So I guess there's traps. Well, I'm gonna turn off this motion blur because it's making me sick. So let's see. Advanced motion blur. It is disabled. Do I have like a different kind of blur going on? Everything should be high. There's like a weird blurry feeling when I turn or when I move that kind of weird like motion sickness thing. But um, my my hand movements might be a little bit shaky at times, so it might look kind of not so fluid. Uh, if so, if it looks too bad, I'll switch to a controller for the next one because that'll be a little bit more smooth. But I prefer uh, mouse and keyboard when I can, so that's why uh, that's why it might look a little bit shaky. This is the remastered version of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Uh, it's on the Unreal Engine 4, and it looks amazing. Like it looks so good. Uh, when I put it on YouTube, it's gonna look terrible. You guys are gonna think I'm lying. It looks like garbage, but uh, I swear it's just. Uh, it's beautiful right now, and then when you go to render it for YouTube internet quality video, it brings it down to 720p, and uh, just generally looks not good. So, I think kind of the point of this game is like um, it, you're kind of solving a mystery. You're going back through the path that I'm assuming Ethan Carter went through, and you're trying to figure out like what he did and where he went and stuff. So. I'm gonna try to explore as much as I can. I mean, I'm probably gonna miss some stuff, and if you guys have played this before and found things that I didn't, uh, you can let me know in the comments. But, um, these videos my oh shit! These videos might be, uh, longer than most of my other videos because, uh, I wanna try to get as much in each video as possible and not do a bunch of really short ones like in Stanley Parable. So, uh, 
if you don't want to watch the whole video, that's whatever. But for those of you that want to, um, these will be longer and hopefully kind of interesting. Hopefully you guys like them. I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool game and it looks amazing. So we'll see how these do. I don't want to, uh, I'm not ending Stanley Parable or the Project Zomboid series, but, um, I just, I bought this the other day on a sale for like, I think it was like $3 or $4 or something. Really cheap. Same thing with Stanley Parable. It was like two bucks and I was like, all right, I'll get that. And, uh, I kind of have three series going right now, but I'm going to try and do all of them. I'm going to try to finish all of them. And, uh, I actually was, uh, messaged on Facebook by, uh, Spencer, Red Creek who Mount. would be interested in joining Singing my quiet, Project Zomboid series, so he might join two in that life. series. No and, uh, if we can't find quiet. a way to work out him joining that one, I may end that series and start a new Project Zomboid series, uh, with him in it, so, I saw here. He that, uh, worry. that could be interesting. I'd work dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Already I knew that. I played through the beginning part of this the other day just to see how it would work. Now I believe this train has something to do with, uh, cause I found, I went, originally I had ignored the train and just went past it down the trail there, but uh, when I came back, there was something I could do, so I'll do that as well. There's like a missing crank thing right here. Yeah, the crankshaft. And this game has kind of this cool style where when you discover stuff, it kind of puts it on the screen here. So I'll go down the trail a little bit further. I'm going to go down the actual path. I believe up ahead you find, uh... You find blood and something else. Oh yeah, rope and some fuel or something. So you can inspect things and then it'll tell you what you discover. So cut ties, untied, tied. It says a number of different things. No blood, question mark. Rope. So it's as if somebody's been untied there. And then this is where you find uh, the blood rest of the corpse. Blood trail. So there's a leg right there. Probably can't see that too well because it's kind of dark. Severed legs. Dude was bleeding profusely. What is this? Under construction. I guess that's not significant. But here's the dude. Blood from legs. Blood from. Blood from. Fractured skull. And I believe. Um, Later on you find, you can touch him and see his head there, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what to do with that, to be honest. I'll try to figure it out in some of the later episodes. I'm thinking these videos will be like 15 to 20 minutes long. I'm hoping, because, I mean, that's long, but it's not extremely long, so. That's what I'm shooting for. I wish you guys could see how good this looks, because it looks so good. But, uh... I just know that YouTube is going to destroy it. And uh, sorry about the clicking from my keyboard. I'm going to try and do something about that with this you new know, recording equipment because I'm getting like a pop filter and a different mic stand because the one that I'm using now is like a stage stand basically. And I'm going to get like a mic boom that will clip onto my desk. And uh, the clicking is just from my keyboard because it's, uh, it's mechanical really nice. I'll leave a link, a link or something in the description for which one I got. Uh, but it's noisy, so that's kind of the, the downside to it. It's actually one of the most quiet um, mechanical keyboards you can get. Most of them, because these are MX Cherry Brown ones, I believe, or maybe it's just MX, MX regular brown uh, key switches. I'm not 100% on keyboards, and I don't know that much about them, but uh, I think the standard ones, or the, the really noisy ones, or the MX Blues, those ones are really loud. But the browns are kind of like a good in-between. 
so they're like they're really responsive and like still pretty clicky but they're also a little bit more quiet so I hope I'm not missing a whole bunch of stuff it feels like I probably am all right well I'm gonna turn back to the train to show you uh, this thing that I had found before I'm gonna try and remember where I had found this rock at there was a rock that had blood on it, it looks like it had been used to like bludgeon that dude's head because it said he had a fractured skull I'm not really sure if this is a scary game or not but it had like that dark intro so I guess we'll see whether it gets spooky those traps were if you're not ready for them those will startle the shit out of you like I actually jumped from one of them I believe if you find the rock you can place it in there so it's like the rock was just taken from there oh yeah here's this fuel gasoline, diesel fuel petrol, whatever you call it if you're in Europe dried grass, dried grass, dried grass, whatever there's the severed legs, I'm gonna try and find that rock real quick I forget where it was at kinda makes me angry. What I might end up having to do is search for it and then cut out the search otherwise it's gonna be like a 30 minute video so. But I'll show you what the crankshaft was for. You find it down in the water. I don't know why it's there but somebody like threw it there or something. But yeah you can put that there and then you tap to crank it and then the engine should boot up. And then you can drive it but I don't I don't know like why. There's no real like reason for it, so I'm gonna go in reverse and take it back down there. If it sounds like I'm just rambling about nonsense, it's because I am. I just need to I need to work on talking more and looking at you guys, which uh, I'm gonna hopefully I, I feel like it'll be better when I get the new camera because uh, it won't look like shit. I'm just using a really old like webcam from like a century ago. Here's that rock. There we go. So there's blood on it. And if I take it down the path here... At the beginning there's like a little notification that says like this is like a narrative experience that doesn't hold your hand. So it's like it doesn't tell you what you have to do. So yeah, you can place the rock there. You can zoom in, I guess. Which is like uh, reminiscent of like DayZ, where you can just zoom. I'm gonna try to find. Uh, I went up this hill before, and then uh, I ended up quitting because I didn't want to like spoil any more of the story. Because I kind of want it to be like. I want it to be like I'm discovering it. Uh, experiencing it at the same time that you guys are. It's super dark right now. You guys probably won't be able to see anything. <clears throat> There's probably so much stuff you could miss because of how dark it is here. And I don't want to turn the brightness up because it looks like it looks so good with the shadows being this dark and like the the light just looks so good when there is light. I'm probably missing so much stuff. If you guys have played this, let me know. You can tell me where some stuff is at. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be over here. It's kind it's linear, but it's like kinda open linear. So like you can kinda go where you want to an extent, but you end up still having to follow a path at some point but it's, it's like a pretty cool way of doing it so it keeps you on track but you still get to explore a lot of stuff so and what it really reminds me of is um oh god what was it called it's made by the Chinese room it came out on uh, PS4 and I started the series and it was like extremely unpopular like the first video got like 30 views and then after that I got like 11 and I think the final one got like 6. And so I just, no one was really interested in it and I kind of lost interest and so I just kind of quit that one. But if you guys like this one and want me to finish that other one I could do that. Oh 
Oh god, what was it called? Um, I'll think of it at some point. It's gonna make me mad. I'm just trying to focus on this kind of right now. I can't think of uh, the other name of the other one. These ferns look so good. I'm afraid there's something like in it though. This is like Velociraptor territory. I'm missing so much stuff, I already know. Oh, what is this? Is this like a sci-fi thing? Oh shit, I'm supposed to follow the astronaut. This just took like a dramatic turn for like the weird. Up until this point, it's been like fairly normal. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? This way? Where'd you go, Mr. Astronaut Man? There you are. He makes such huge jumps, it's like hard to tell where he goes to. He's probably trying to show me something. There you are. He's taking me in a loop. Something bad gonna happen. I feel like he's leading me into a trap or something. Where'd he go? There you are. The music did like an incredible thing there for a second, and now there's this. Is this like a sci-fi game? I'm not sure if I should like get any closer to it, but I guess I will. Interstellar containment capsule number. Ah, uh, 86,900 I think that's what it says. This is so cool. And the music is like perfect for this too. It's like mysterious. Uh, and like... I don't know, it's just really... Where am I going to be? Okay, I think I'm in outer space now. And there's more of these pods. Maybe this is where Ethan Carter went. Is there something I'm supposed to do here? What is this? Oh, let's see. Text, there we go. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was, hev but was heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out, like the others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up, on, uh, rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again, between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked, uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. That was really weird. There's another thing. America's first science fiction, featuring Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding, plus Julian West, Michael Arden, uh, current authors, whatever. Alright guys, well I think that would be a good first video. That was kind of interesting. Uh, I hope you stuck around this long, because the end was kind of neat, and uh, I'm eager to see what happens next, so uh, don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and uh thanks for watching
I'll see you guys in the next video.